hey there, hi there, ho there, Kaz here, I'm staying here, here to unbox Soulbox. Soulbox is a monthly subscription box full of crayon snacks. Um, I've been with them for a couple of good, well, since last year. Yeah, I've been with them since last year. I've had some good stuff and some not so good stuff because I'm not a fan of spicy stuff, as you'll know if you watch these videos. I don't like it. I just don't like spicy stuff at all and there's been quite a few spicy things in here. So, what we'll do is we'll just open the box. That's the inside. Really pretty inside. Like I say many times, I wish this was on the outside because it's really, really pretty. The outside is just plain white. It's about, oh, I forgot to say, it's about 30 to 40 pound a month depending on the money happening over there because it kind of fluctuates. What I like to do is I'll just put it down, pick out everything, try it, and tell you what I think. I've got the book, the book here that tells you all about it and what you're about to eat. Lots of other things as well. There's quite a lot of information like um, K-pop concerts. I'll tell you lots about them. You see there's my boys right here. And then you've got a few others. Uh, Fellowship. Neo City. So... I'm just trying to find the pay. Oh, here we are. Okay, everything here. I'll read the description, try the food, and then tell you what I think about it. We'll just go straight away with this because it looks kind of cute. Soft, sweet and soft chewy candy. Sweet potato? Oh, you're having a laugh. I thought it was mochi. Well, mochi. Oh. I do like sweet potatoes, but not in, like, this kind of form. So, basically, imagine this. On a cold winter day, you pass by a petite street of Seoul. Suddenly a sweet smell hits you. When you look right, see you, Korean convenience store, sells sweet potatoes in a stall. Korean sweet potatoes have purple skin and yellow flesh. Your candies look precisely like that. Really not looking forward to this. Right, I'm just gonna try one. That's what they look like, like I said, the purple. Purple's my favourite colour. Okay. Hmm. They're actually quite chewy. They're not soft at all. I thought they would be. Mm, sorry. Mm. Not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. It just tastes like eating a sweet potato, but in chewy form. Mm -mm. This is disgusting. No. That's all I'm going to say about that. No. Basically, they taste like sweet potato, but they're in chewy form, and they are not nice. Not nice at all. I'm going to get this out of the way, because I was not looking forward to this at all. This, believe it or not, is garlic bread favourite chocolate. I don't know who came up with this abomination. I love garlic bread, don't get me wrong, but not mixed with chocolate. This is not a good thing. <clears throat> Crunky garlic bread chocolate. It tastes like an edge of garlic bread. The part where sticky, juicy syrup comes together. So basically, yeah, here we go. <laughs> and I can't believe it was Lotte that came up with it. Lotte do some normally some really nice stuff. So why they've done this, I don't know. I don't even know how to get into this. So we're just going to rip the packet. Oh, Lotte, you have failed me. I used to think you made such nice things. And then you go and make this abomination. I'm literally going to try this much. Because I do not even want to eat this. It smells like garlic bread. 
<laughs> oh, dear lord, this isn't... Well, here goes. Pray I don't die. Oh. Ew. Nope. Nope. Mmm. This is vile. I'll say it again. No! Just no! I will yeet it out the window. No. I need something nice. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I, this is, um... Oh, I can still taste it. I'm sorry guys, but that was not pleasant. Whoever invented that? Well, Lotte. Lotte invented it. Nice of them. Lovely. This is fish cake soup tea. Another disgusting thing. I won't be trying this, because it's tea. But fish cake tea. I'll give it to my fiancé. He'll probably like it, but not me. Yuck. I just want something nice. Whoa. Crisps, crisps. What can, you can't go wrong with crisps, right? Uh, is that them? Kowalski chips, truffle salt. Oh, truffle. Do you know Orion, snack producer of this, even has its potato lab? That's what it looks like. They are serious, lightly sweet, almost savoury, and extra crunchy, discovering new interpretation of truffle flavours. Hmm. Interesting. Find a small one. Well, not too small, because we need to have a big one for flavour. Wow, they're all smushed. They didn't survive, let's just say that. They didn't survive the transport over here. Oh, there's a biggish one. Mmm. Mmm. It's crisp. Mmm. Quite a nice flavour. A very small hint of truffle. And really, really tasty. Yeah, I like those. Thank goodness we have something nice. <laughs> Okay, let's go for this. Yeah! We have a keychain of one of the Squid Game soldiers. It's one of the lower ones because you got the, the circle, triangle, and square. Square's like the top guy. I loved Squid Game. It was such a good show. Kind of brutal in parts, but really, really good. Can't wait for season two. And it has the umbrella, star, triangle, circle. I don't know, that was from the Belgona episode. Something it was called, I think it was a man under the umbrella or something it was called. Very cool. I'll probably be putting that somewhere. I like that. <clears throat> Let's see what it says about it in here, if it says anything. Yeah. Squid Game Imposter Keychain. When the global wave of Squid Game finally hit K-pop and lots of idols started wearing the costumes on their concerts and vlogs, V did that at the Permission to Dance concert. We decided to feature it in Soulbox so that you can join the craze too. Has your bias ever won the, con won the, the costume? No, no. My bias is Jimin from BTS and I don't think he's ever won the costume, but he did mention Squid Games. Um, we have this. Cha-Cha Mini Toothpaste. Give good vibes only. Charming Charcoal Black Toothpaste. They do sometimes give us beauty products and stuff. Like lip gloss and face masks and stuff. New Year, New Beauty. Gift your bright smile to people around you. It's unique toothpaste made of charcoal and loved by many Koreans. Just like other rock star toothpaste. It has a powerful whitening effect. Make it in your resolution to smile bigger and more often. So there's the cha cha charcoal toothpaste. Cool. 
Hmm. Oh, it's just the front door. Sorry, guys. Oh, grey. Grapefruit. Earl Grey flavour grapefruit cookie. Interesting. It's an antique cookie that attracts any elegant grapefruit or Earl Grey lovers. Moist and chewy grapefruit jam inside a cookie. Milk or tea for a beautiful companion. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Like it says, it's very soft, very, very, very strong taste of grapefruit. Can't really taste the Earl Grey. Maybe there's a tiny little hint of it, but the grapefruit kind of overpowers it, which I'm glad because I'm not a fan of tea. So <laughs> that was really, really nice. Very, very nice indeed. Let's try something else. Hmm. What's these? Oh, I see a lemon. This looks interesting. <clears throat> wow, black lemon bubblegum. Blog a black bubble. It's sweet and sour lemon gum. Bring black lemon bubblegum to a party. You'll become a superstar. So it's bubblegum. So I'll have a little taste of it and then I'll spit it out. Because I don't want to be chewing while I'm... <laughs> oh, it's... It's the typical bubblegum packaging. I'll keep this so I can spit it into it. Oh, and it's black. Wow. It's black at bubblegum. Don't know if you can see that. Wow. Mmm. That was very nice. Very, very strong, tangy, lemony flavour. Because I just love lemon stuff. I love anything to do with citrus. And that was delightful. Really, really tangy, sweet in places. Really, really nice. I'm not really a chewing gum fan, but I'll probably have that. Anyway, moving on. Latte again. I don't trust latte anymore after that abomination. Dessert chocolate. Okay, where's this? <clears throat> I can't seem to find it anywhere. Know that tangerine chocolate. Could it be that? No. I really can't seem to find it in the. Thing. I apologise for that, but it says it's Gahana Dessert Chocolate. I don't know whether you can see that, it's such a shiny package. And it's done by Lotto. So I can't really tell you anything else because it's not in the booklet. Hmm. Actually, it could be. No. Okay, we'll just. That's what it looks like. Pretty pleasant, hopefully. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. It's a biscuit. The biscuit kind of tastes like um, Oreos. You know Oreos, the um, American cookies? It tastes like Oreos and so does like the chocolate on top. Very cookies and cream. Delightful. Love it. Let's go for something else. I'm s there's a Hershey's item in here, but I'm saving it till last because I love Hershey's. Hershey's is my favourite chocolate from America. What do we have? Oh, I like the sound of this. 
Potoki Bungya Pancake. Pa pancake, I think it's pronounced. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. If you visit Korea during winter time, you'll understand what pa Bungya or Panga means. To Koreans, small red stalls dotted around the streets selling fish or rabbit shaped pies filled with hot red bean paste. Ah! I hate red bean paste. It is vile. I'm not a fan at all. It's one thing that came out of Korea that I am not a fan of. It's just not my favourite at all. I really do not like it. But here we are. It's in the shape of a fish. It's not too bad. You can't really taste much of the red bean paste. It's like, it's very sticky. It kind of has the consistency of a cake, but also a rice cake. You know those things that they make mochi out of? It's kind of squishy and stretchy. It kind of tastes like that. I can't describe the flavour. It's, it's not really a strong red bean paste flavour, so it's I can stand it basically because I really do not like red bean paste at all. But that's that's standable. It tastes kinda nice, so yeah, I might eat it later. And we have yogurt mandarin chips. That sounds kinda nice. Yogurt tangerine chocolate chip. Like some other countries, tangerines are winter delicacy in Korea. <sighs> Only the king, royal family, and selected few could taste it back then. Have it with a butter milk yogurt frosting, it makes a great ice cream topping. So we're just gonna open this up. Take some out. Oh, it actually looks like a tangerine covered in yogurt. That's kind of nice. <sighs> Really, really nice. Another citrusy item. Very subtle taste of tangerine. Yogurt's quite tangy, but really, really flavorful. Very nice. What do we have here? Honey jelly. Oh, yes. It's not in here. Oh, this is so stupid. Oh. This is another one that's not in here. It's literally not here. Maybe it was instead of something else, but it's basically honey jelly, so I think that pretty much describes itself. It's in a, a tube. Whether you just eat it normally or whether you put it on something. Just trying to get the thing off. Reminds me of the last thing we had that was like also kind of like a honey jelly thing. That's the. This looks like typical honey. Hmm. Doesn't really taste of much. I can't really taste the jelly, the honey in there. Hmm. Oh well. Kind of disappointing. On to the next. Hmm. Edie coffee. Mm -hmm. A special matcha blend. Would that be it? Yeah. What makes this snack special is its matcha flavours. It's a Korean mixed coffee that you can taste. You can taste coffee, milk and cream all at once. If you are the type who always dips your snacks into coffee, you'll find a new home with this biscuit. Hmm. 
sounds promising. I'm just gonna pull a little bit out. It's just like a little biscuit. It looks like a cracker. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Instant hit of coffee flavor. Mm. Kind of melts in the mouth, crunchy. But yeah, and they were right. You can definitely taste the coffee in there. The minute you put it in your mouth, instant hit of coffee. Tasty. Really nice. Let's go for this. Trophy snacks. Look interesting. After a bite, you may wonder, does this snack made of sugar and caramel, Crowful, is trendy in Korea? You can, you can find diffuser mix of croissant and waffle on nearly every subway station and hip cafe. Pair with non-sugary drinks such as coffee or tea. Ooh. I think you should have a croissant and a waffle. Interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> They literally look like waffles. Mmm. Oh, that is very flavorful. Mmm. I like that. It's very, very sugary. Slight hint of caramel. Really crunchy and kind of flaky as well. It, that, yeah, waffle and a croissant. Very, very nice. Mm, tasty. Okay, we have a few more items left. So I'm going to go for the Injolamin almonds. <coughs> we had green tea almonds not so long ago, and I was actually quite a fan. Let's see if these are quite nice. Have you heard of Seoul Bing? It's a mega popular Korean Bing Soon dessert cafe. The menu that shot them to the moon is in Jolmen, Bingsu, made of fine ground enjoyment powder, milk ice flakes, and con pardon me, condensed milk. Taste the sweet, icy winter through Injolmen treats. It's a healthy snack after a workout. Okay. get one out so it tastes like I don't even know what injolamin is guys so I don't even know what it's supposed to taste like so it's basically an almond covered in some kind of coating mm. it has quite a bizarre taste can't really describe it No, I can't describe that one. It's kind of like vanilla-y, but there's something else there as well. You get the really nice almond underneath, but that's a weird flavour right there. So we also have something that I don't really make, um, but it's white pepper powdered ramen beef bone stock. White pepper bone broth ramen. If you're a fan of the Mandalorian, bone broth, the Baba's favourite food, <laughs> along with frogs and people's eggs. Bean bone broth, gom tang, has been a go-to winter soup since the 14th century, Joseon dynasty. Take a sip and power up with our traditional wisdom. Cooking tips on page 9, yeah. Uh, cooking tips on page nine. Be careful with white pepper. Only empty the satchel if you love spicy foods. It's definitely not for me then. <laughs> oh, goodness me. So there's two more items left. Yeah, here we are. This is a kimchi energy drink. Yes, you heard right. Kimchi energy drink. Now, I like kimchi. S sometimes it depends how spicy it is. But this is just bizarre. 
kimchi energy drink. Strawberry flavoured energy drink with a hint of refreshing kimchi. Refreshing. A thousand milligram turan and seventy milliliter caffeine. Mm. Joyous. I'm not going to enjoy this. They say it's strawberry flavour with just a hint of kimchi, but still. Oh, it smells weird. Oh, you can smell the kimchi. Oh, pray for me, people. Disgusting. The, the, the strawberry flavour is slightly, but then the kimchi flavour comes in and it's so strong and it's... I am a fan of kimchi, but not in drinks. No. Let's have something nice now, shall we? I've been saving this to last. Um, this is a... Let's see if I can find it. Hershey's chocolate chip mochi cookie. Oh, the joy of Hershey's. Sticky rice cake is inside a crumbly cookie and chocolate chip on the cookie dough. Expand your taste with a mochi version of Hershey's. Oh, yes, please. Get in my tummy. This is what it looks like. It looks like a lovely cookie. That is delightful. Like it said, it's basically just mochi inside a really, really chocolatey flavour cookie. I'm not being biased here, but I love Hershey's stuff. Hershey's is one of my favourite American chocolate bars. I just think they taste amazing. That is really yummy. Very well done on that. Anyway, that's all we have. If you liked this video, Hit that subscribe button, slap that like button. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.